Hello everyone, this is the Carnivore Saga YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be playing some Carnivores Reloaded. First off, I'm going to tech around my trophy room and delete trophies I don't need. Uh, let's see. That one's bigger than this one. Bye-bye! That one's small. Small. Okay, this one's larger than that one. And it beats this one easily. That one's bigger than that one. Now I got some raptors. Uh, okay. I think that's all of them. I'm not going to be doing much. Just hunting some stegosaurs in the Great Lakes area. And maybe talking to you guys a little about what's been going on with the carnivores community. And other stuff. First off, I'd like to say that Carnivores Reloaded is not dead. Glitch Hunter 9 that's me, is working hard to bring you updates. With Beta 7 on the way, the team's got some plans that you can see on their mod database page. Poharex is hard at work making a new mid-tier map. It's going to replace the Great Lake of the Future map. Which, quite, quite frankly, was a, a waste of a map slot anyway. At the time I made Carnivores Reload, there weren't a lot of people that could do maps, and there weren't a lot of maps out. Now a lot of people can make maps. As for what's been going on, a relationship with Tatum is strained right now. I cannot get in contact with any PR from Tatum, and I'm going to assume they may not even have one. For those of you that don't know, Nadia Sidorinko of or Sidorinko, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, left Tatum a few years back. She's working in Berlin, Germany now. Actually, her name's Nadia Smith now cuz she's married. But yeah, she no longer has connect uh, affiliations with Tatum anymore. So, yeah. She's still pretty passionate about the Carnivores games, though, from what I've heard. Or, well, heard from her, I should say. Yeah, gotcha, you little asshole. These guys are a pain in the ass to chase down. Even with a weak spot. <laughs> Now, what else should I discuss? Oh! Fan projects. Currently, the um, major fan projects going on are um, Carnivores in the Middle Islands, Carnivores Reloaded, and Carnivores Ice Age 2, which I'm also working on. Moving I'm having to split area. my attention between two mods, and it's kind of obnoxious, but at the same time, very rewarding. Unlike Reloaded, which was a collaboration with Poharex, I'm going to be working on Carnivore's Ice Age 2 alone, for the most part, aside from 
getting new models and creatures anyway. There's a video on my channel that you can look at. It, it details the first area, which was a which is a work in progress still. So far, so good. I haven't encountered any carnivores yet, which I'm happy about. Hopefully, I don't encounter any. I prefer to keep it that way. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna kill it the old fashioned way. Okay. Next on the agenda. As for what carnivores the Middle Islands will be, it's going to be about, um, the exotic sector, which is where the cityscape dinosaurs and creatures are located. It's being worked on by Keegan right now. Hopefully the project takes off. I have high hopes for it. What else? As for the cityscape animals... And... Poharex needs to fix that. But as for the cityscape animals, the majority of them have been animated already, and that's a big Gallimimus. Sorry, ADD moment. <laughs> but yeah... I may have to ask Poharex if I can patch some of his maps for problems. Namely, transitive texture problems and such. Of course, I don't want to steal his thunder. That's why I'm hesitant about it. Now, the next uh, build will er, feature an edit I did to one of P-Rex's maps, but it was mainly a minor edit, and it was to adjust the fog height. Fog height is now closer to how it was in the vanilla carnivores, which you could only see if you played in direct 3D or 3D FX. The fog wasn't meant to be so high in that map, and it's weird that it happened to get so high. No, I only messed with the default fog. I left everything else alone. They should have made the target its butt. Supposedly since it has a brain receptor in its butt or something. Probably got that wrong, but whatever. It was just a theory anyway, supposedly. Get back here, you little shit. Stop running. I'm gonna get you. I've already outpaced you, you little shit. I'm gonna run up alongside of you and shoot you in the face. 
hell did I miss? That was point blank. Gotcha. Yeah! I'm sorry, guys. I got a little carried away there. Oh, and we've started our own fanon wiki. I don't know if you've known this or not, but we have the Carnivore's Atlas wiki, which tries to take actual lore and expand it. So yeah, there you go. Plenty of nice articles there, including things like the Crater City incident from Cityscape and other fun little tidbits. I highly recommend checking it out. On another note, I also recommend checking out Saurian Target's channel. He's got nice top fives for various carnivores related topics. And he'll probably be doing mod videos soon. Or at least I hope he does. He said he will. So check out his videos. And comment on them. Give them a like. Subscribe to them. Come on. You can find a link to his channel on my channel. Or, on the Carnivore Saga's channel, I should say. I can't say my channel, because I'm technically not the only one running it. Though I'm the only active person that messes with it. Speaking of which... I suppose some of you are wondering why we haven't been as active as we were in the past. Well, you're not going to believe this, but Google locked us out because it didn't like the idea of multiple people from around the world accessing the same account. Even though it's meant to be a group account. Too bad Google doesn't have a option for that, I guess. But yeah, I had to have Rex199 recover the email, and after that he sent he made the recovery email my email, so now if it happens again, I can just recover it. So yeah, Carnivore Saga's YouTube channel is back in business. I should probably also note some bad news. Carnivore's fan guild was taken down several months ago. I'm sure some of you ha ha that have been trying to access the site have noticed this. You can still access it on archive.org if you need to see information, but some of the downloads are down, others are still up. I'm currently working on trying to back it up to the Carnivore Saga server, so you guys can still enjoy it. I may do updates, I don't know. I'm trying to talk it over with Rex199 about implementing the site as the sort of main information source for Carnivore Saga. I haven't really delved deep into talking with him about it, but we'll see what happens. For now, though, you can, you know, like I said, you can access it on archive.org. And what is with this red fog? It seems to be an issue with iBuild Circuit's patch. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're about to enter the extended area of the Great Lake. I probably won't spend much time wandering around here because I want to hunt for other dinosaurs in this video. But I also don't want to overdo it. Oh wait, 
I said that. I'm not using the script, guys, so you'll have to forgive me if I stutter over my words. I'm actually not used to commentating on videos. That subwoofer is crazy. I've got a subwoofer attached to my computer and it really picks up the dinosaur calls. I mean, the floor shakes. <laughs> it's actually really cool. It adds a bit of immersion that was probably needed. And I'm in some kind of canyon. You know what's funny? I've been on this map numerous times, but I haven't really explored it that much other than keeping to the middle and um, the western portions of the map. I haven't really gone out east. Of course, there's probably nothing exciting out there except plants, plants, and more plants and stuff. You know, that sort of thing. Damn. Now I'm going to have to chase another Stego. It's a good thing they're not very fast. Or dangerous. If they were dangerous, I'd be totally screwed right now. And yes, I know there's a spike tail on it, but it doesn't seem to want to use it against me for whatever reason. Oh, you... I am not a good shot. <laughs> I'm no alien dinosaur hunter, that's for sure. He'd have these stegos already down. Hell, he'd probably clear the whole map. I'm underestimate. My frame rate's not the best, so I'm having to make do with it. I'm getting 14 FPS right now while recording. Of course, I've got the recording set to 30, so that's actually pretty good. Ooh, my frame rate just jumped, and it jumped back down now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Anymore. <laughs> And now I am officially out of ammo, so that means I'm going to exit the hunt. <laughs> 